Hi, everyone. Welcome to the July version of the Reading Research Recap. For this month, I chose a paper that examined which comprehension strategies are most effective. And I love this paper. I know you're probably at home rolling your eyes thinking this lady says that about every paper she chooses, but I mean it. So hear me out. There's so many reasons why I loved it. First, comprehension is a lot harder to research and to teach than decoding or phonics. So I love the question that they asked. Second, it um, examined a population, so older struggling readers, grades three through eight, that struggled with comprehension. This population, in my opinion, is under-researched and understudied. Third, it used um, meta it was a meta-analysis, so it examined a broad swath of research, so you get sort of an aggregation, the state of the field on that topic. Fourth, it um, had great practical classroom results that we'll get to in a second that you can immediately apply as a teacher. And fifth, it used a special type of meta-analysis. So that's how I knew it was love at first sight when I saw network meta-analysis in the title of this paper. Why do I love network meta-analysis? I'll get to that in a second, but first let's talk about what is network meta-analysis. Network meta-analysis is a technique for comparing three or more interventions simultaneously in a single analysis by combining both direct and indirect evidence across a network of studies. And here I've shown fruits, but you can imagine that these each one of these different fruits represents a different reading comprehension strategy. So different studies use different combinations of reading comprehension strategies. And using traditional pairwise meta-analytic techniques, you wouldn't be able to combine and compare all of these in a single study. So why am I so obsessed with network meta-analysis? Well, five years ago, I was a doc student. I was a third year working on my major area paper. And that's a project you do just to prove that you can handle a dissertation, which comes next. So if you pass your major area paper, they allow you to do a dissertation. But I had a problem. The papers that I wanted to synthesize, they had different independent variables. And you cannot use traditional pairwise meta-analysis for that because you'd have to do separate meta-analyses for each one. And I didn't have enough studies to combine to do separate meta-analyses. So it was a mess and I was searching the internet far and wide to find some sort of technique when I discovered network meta-analysis being used in the field of medicine. At the time, there were no papers I saw using it for education. And so I actually ended up publishing that paper and I just checked on Google Scholar, it has nine citations. That's not a whole lot, but it's exciting to me because it means that this technique is taking off, which is exciting because it's powerful and useful, I think, for some research questions that couldn't be answered in um, using traditional meta-analytic techniques. All right, so shifting back to what this study on reading comprehension strategies did. Reading comprehension strategy interventions are really complex and time consuming for a teacher to both learn and put on in a classroom. And so these researchers had the awesome idea to synthesize the research out there and see, is there a specific reading comprehension strategy or a combination of strategies that is most effective? So they looked at 52 different studies that included strategies such as main idea, inference, text structure, retail, prediction, self-monitoring, and graphic organizers. And they looked at grades three through 12, and these students were mostly English speaking. And what did they find? Well, they found that there was no one single strategy that was best. Instead, the combination of main idea, text structure, and retail was the most effective. But importantly, this effect only held, and in fact, all the effects only held when background knowledge instruction was included. So what does this mean for you as a teacher? Well, it probably means you should focus your comprehension strategy instruction on main idea, text structure, and retail together in one intervention. Also remember to continue to teach background knowledge instruction. Those effects did not hold unless you also taught background knowledge. All right, that's all that I have for July and I'll see everyone in August.